Hey guys, I'm still in Namibia, but this is not a Namibian lock. This, I believe, is a German lock. I got it from Adrian Weber, I think most of you know him as Dice Man. And it is a Corona, and until now I thought Corona was only a beer, but uh, I'm surprised that uh, the beer company also apparently makes locks. But anyway, uh, this is an interesting lock. Um, it's only five pins, the bidding really is not very crazy at all. But I'll tell you, this lock has uh, been quite a challenge for me because there's a there's a trick to it. Um, doesn't look like much, uh, but if I'm careful, I think I can demonstrate it for you. If you put the key in, oops, sorry, put the key in and turn it, uh, it doesn't turn very easily. You can force it. If you turn it really hard, you can force it. But I found that if you push the key in just a little bit beyond, and turn, then it turns very, very easily. Uh, I realized that before I started trying to pick it, but I didn't realize the significance of it. So I must have picked this lock a dozen times and never known it until I figured out the secret. So let me show that to you. God, these birds here are so loud, they're driving me crazy. I don't know why they let them run free. I mean, they poop everywhere. What they ought to do is round them all up and put them in a zoo somewhere, and then everything would be calm here. Anyway, enough ranting. I'm just going to put a little bit of tension, put it to the back, and just see if we can get us a fault set and see if we can get started. There are security pins in here, and I believe that they are all spools. So let's see if we can lock down a fault set. Not quite yet. Okay, we've got a fault set. Now uh, let me go in and set the pin. Uh, apparently, uh, in order to get a fault set, I think either pin number one or pin number two are normal pins, and so when you maybe both. So when you get those set, then pin number three is the first security pin, and there we go. We got a fault set, and apparently I set it, and I also set pin five, which was the other one. I must have bumped him and not realized it, but this is working out better than I thought. Because, let me take the tension wrench out, so you can see, and this is where I believed I had picked the lock, but it wouldn't open. In fact, let me put that tension wrench in there and prove it to you. It's a wild set, and you can put as much tension as you want, and this lock is not coming open. But, it's a very obscene angle. It must be picked. There's no way that, that, uh, that the holes in the core can be lined up with the holes in the body. So I kept resetting and resetting, trying to figure out what in the world is going on. And then I thought about that key. And then I took my pick, and instead of orienting it up towards the pins, rotate it upside down. And then I just slid it in, like so. And I'm going to turn it sideways. It actually is a spring-loaded plunger. When you push it in, you override that plunger. Then you can turn it just like a key, and then it's unlocked. So if you run into a Corona lock, if you run into one of these beer locks, just be aware that uh, as soon as you get that obscene angle and, you, and you're sure that you've broken past that shear line, uh, punch the uh, spring-loaded plunger and it will come unlocked. Anyway, thanks for watching. Everybody stay safe and stay legal.